Hey guys, Tinker Golf Man here, and today I wanted to show you guys uh, the new Nike Golf shoe for 2017. Um, this is the uh, Nike Lunar Control Vapor. Uh, you've probably seen this on TV from the uh, Nike Golf athletes um, probably wearing this uh, already. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look. Um, shout out to uh, Team Nike Golf for sending this out to me. Um, but this is the uh, Nike Lunar Control Vapor. Um, again, this shoe is a uh, two-year water, two-year uh, warranty waterproof. So uh, if you're worried about your shoes getting damaged from water, you get a two-year warranty on the shoe. Let's go ahead and take a look. Inside, get your uh, warranty information uh, for the shoes. Let's move that out of the way and let's take a look at the shoes. And there's one right side and the left side. All right, so here is the new shoe. I opted to get uh, the uh, Wolf Gray. Uh, they're calling this, I think, um, Lava Glow, which is pretty much a pink to me, but they're calling this uh, the swoosh and the uh, other elements that have the, uh, the pink Lava Glow, even the bottom here. So obviously, uh, the biggest technology or new, newest technology that you're probably going to see in the shoe is the bottom. Um, Nike Golf decided to go with a uh, spikeless uh, design at the bottom this year uh, for traction. Uh, this, Nike's calling this the uh, articulated integrated traction uh, used to be on or used for multi-surface grip. Um, so if you're going to use this, you know, when you put the shoes on and you, you know, step on a uh, pretty flat area surface like cement, concrete, um, it's probably going to feel weird if you've been using um, a spiked shoe for some time. Um, so it's definitely meant to be worn, um, obviously, in the grass. Um, and you get that lockdown feel. Um, it is a TPU outsole uh, with fin-like material. Um, so it, it's definitely going to lock you in just like you would uh, with traditional golf spikes, except you don't have to ever change these out. Um, so it's pretty cool and unique. Um, the exterior, the, uh, upper of the shoe is a, uh, synthetic leather upper. Um, so it looks to be a little bit different from the material from, uh, Lunar Control 4. Uh, Nike's calling it Nike Skin, uh, for the exterior of the shoe. So it's pretty, um, pretty, uh, looks durable, looks waterproof. Pretty sure it is because of the two-year warranty on there. And, uh, Nike did bring back, um... Uh, Flywire technology, so for the lockdown support on the shoe, glad that's uh, back um, on this shoe. Also back uh, into the 2017 shoe is Lunarlon. Um, definitely a great midsole material because if you're playing golf and you have those long rounds, um, you definitely want comfort throughout the whole round. Don't want to be feeling um, the bottom of the shoe or the spikes or anything. So um, Lunarlon technology, um, again, implemented. So I'm very excited to, uh, to see that, have traveled back. It's a mesh inner, so we still get some breathable material um, across. So get airflow throughout this whole area of the shoe. So breathable. Um, still brought back the, uh, the split tongue, uh, very similar to uh, Lunar Control 4. Uh, split tongue technology, or I'm uh, not technology, but uh, split tongue where thinner material so um your tongue doesn't get caught up uh like previous shoes um when your shoe or i'm sorry when your foot is moving around all over the golf shoe so brought that back pretty exciting i'm hoping to see uh to see this shoe uh in uh nike id hopefully because i would definitely love to put different colors on here but yeah this is the uh the shoe here here's the back get both of them Lunar Control emblem here, Lunar Lawn logo for the midsole area, Lava Pink Glow swoosh on the heel area, Nike Skin Upper Technology, so waterproof, with fly wire technology for lockdown support, Inner Mesh, it says Just Do It, and the Lava Glow again, and the TPU outsole that looks like fins. 
Again, Nike's calling this the uh, articulated integrated traction. And here they are. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy the chase.